This is the story of the worst five minutes and 26 seconds of my life. improv camp for the summer, right? It, it was fun, you know, I learned some life skills, made tons of friends, it was, it, it was great. But usually the camp ended pre pretty early. I'm talking like before lunch. And my folks didn't get back home until like three, four o'clock at night. So I was home alone, baby, most of the day. I didn't have pants on for a single second. But then one day, my dad came home super duper early. He parked at the very, very chippy top of our driveway, and he was carrying fast food. So, we ate some Chick-fil-A and talked about something boring enough to lose my attention. So I start looking off into space, you know, up, up, up the clouds. But then I see something that chilled me to the bone. A ghost was driving Dad's car! I mean, who knew? So, and I just start running out the door. Dad is very confused. He's asking me, Hey, Drew, where are you going? You spilled your Frosty. And the action side of me says, There's no time to explain. We're already too late. So we're booking it down this driveway, trying to catch the ghost car. Right, and Dad is yelling, No. All the way down. As if it was helping. So the car gets to the bottom of the hill, smashes its rear view mirror against the beatball cord, and very, very nearly destroys the mailbox. And not only does it start speeding back up, but it starts speeding back up, heading straight for the old lady and her one by two smart car. I swear, th this is the face she made. But thanks to the magic fork in the road, it barely missed her and just ended up destroying our neighbor's house. No big deal. So as we're, we're talking about insurance and stuff, and I start getting bored again. So this time I notice the mailman, and the mailman has a package. <gasps> it's Lego Jurassic World. So I walk up to the mailbox and I realize something heartbreaking. If it was an Amazon package, they would have left it on the porch. But then I saw the scariest thing. Cut to dad's perspective. He sees me running and screaming around. Son, I don't think Lego Jurassic World is worth getting that excited about. But then he sees what I saw. And the thing I saw was a giant swarm of bees. Because apparently bees don't like it when a ghost car runs over their nest. Yeah. I was running in circles, like I was Pablo from the backyard again. There was a point where Wasp was actually on my face. He's getting ready to sting me. And I froze in fright. Like, I, I was prepared to die in that second. But the Wasp was cruel enough to just let me live. Curse you, Wasp! My dad just sat me down inside and told me to call my mom. I think this must have been a pretty bad day for mom, too, because the only thing she heard in between my sobs were, <laughs> Mom, the car hit the White House. 